Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News Week here, aka okay, Mr. Manny Wolverine. You guys are wrestling in the intros and outro for this channel. I mean, I'm Brady on Odyssey, and of course, as always, uh, Mines, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, and he's just in case this channel gets shut down, terminated, shadow ban, what have you, any of that fortunate stuff, God forbid. Anyways, I know this is almost four days old. I'm still going to fucking rant to talk about it because, granted, as much as I don't want to kind of sort of talk about this, wasn't until at least about 2018 or 19, especially when, um, you know who was running the country at the time, or supposedly. Because, you know, when it comes to the whole, like, alternative media, spatial theory sort of shit, you know, I'm a very, very huge fan of that stuff. I know some people don't like hearing that. I, mean, I don't get too, too deep in it when it comes to stuff. Oh, it's like Yeti or Bigfoot or the, this level shaped earth thing. You know, that part, that that's when, I don't know if that's like a actual, you know, Something that's a stage thing or a distraction, diversion from what's really going on in the world. I don't know. I don't like stress for alien shit stuff. You know, yeah, I don't get that mega deep in them because there's other parts of it that I kind of don't agree with. But then there's other parts. When it comes to like stuff like governments and banks and shit like that or stuff that kind of like runs the world and shit. You know, stuff of that specific matter. Yeah, then I'm 100% all about hating the living shit out of that pretty much, unfortunately. Because uh, I've been awake since, what, late 2009, early 2010? It's been a long ass time, so I've been wide awake since I stopped becoming a normie, pretty much, or a masses or a sheep. Anyways, there's that. Yeah, but, um, man, this sucks. But, yeah, when that dude, like I said before, I'll say it again, when uh, Mr. Orange Man was still running the country before now, we got Mr. Bo Jeden, or um, Joe Blyden, as I sometimes call him. <laughs> All right, that dude used to call him the Sleepy Joe, or the Let's Go Brandon, whatever you want to call the dude is running the U.S., supposedly. Like I said before, a lot of these people that are... I don't even know about the governors or senators. There might be somebody else running it, but... When it comes to usually people, like, running whole countries, like if it's the dude like Justin Trudeau over there in Canada, or the people in the prime ministers in Australia, or the U.K., or any other place in the world, like, really, those are just little straw man puppets that are just saying the stuff that the people that truly run this planet or tell them to say, that's really all it is. I mean, they read from a script all the time. That's just to just give you enough basis to know that, yeah, they're not the ones that are, have all the power and the money and the wealth and the influence over people. It's not them, obviously. But getting off track. Anyways, I'm playing some Ridge Ridge Racer style music in the background. That's why, you know, I really wouldn't have gone to this movie. I probably would have been, probably would have been a lot better if I played Mario music or Nintendo music instead since it's about old school John Luizama, which I didn't want to talk about. I said I didn't want to, but unfortunately, um, I'm not going to say he gives me no choice. I didn't have to talk about it, but it sucks because I really, really like this dude's acting. He's absolutely phenomenal on spot. Funny-ass motherfucker. But um, well, he's a lot older, man. He's like 55, 63, 65, something years old. So he's almost old enough to be my dad already. But anyways, before getting to that, there's these three little mini quick things I wanted to talk about. Um, one of them I may do a video on this week because that's something to do with Nintendo Direct. And that's that... um. From, uh, from this video here, from Rock Paper Shotgun, real quick. I oh, actually know it's not from Rock Paper Shotgun. That's another thing I want to talk about afterwards. Oh, Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom release date of a Nintendo Direct. It's supposed to be happening this week or next week. So, if it does happen this week, I'm gonna see if I try to react to it. Very, very interesting. I know the first one I watched on my own, so I didn't feel like reacting to it because I was doing a lot of other shit last month. I was very, very busy with shit. There's that. And um. I'm real, real excited about that. Looks and it's looking very, very good so far, man. So maybe um, I think his name is Ishomi or Iso Isota oh, Ohamo Ihome, however you say his name. I think it's Ethome. I know he's real, real big out there. Those other people like Shigeru Miyamoto and the one that runs for Nintendo Japan, like Shintaro for Kawa and all that. Anyway, so so hopefully that happens. And then there was another one out, and I might talk about this possibly in the future. It's probably going to be real real late as fuck, because it's been four, five, six days when it happened. But uh, Monster Energy Drink decided to um, sue the living crap out of this small, little, tiny Steam PC game, which I don't know who it was. It's pretty sad to see it, because they're a multi-million, billion-dollar energy drink company, and they're trying to sue the little guy. Like They're trying to even, like... Not cap the word, but, like, just make the word monster their own thing. And then energy drink, and then, like, anything with a white and blue logo or white and green logos is automatically monster energy drinks. Which, by the way, I think monsters are owned by Coca-Cola, so 
You already know how massively ginormously huge that company is. They don't need any introduction. That's kind of fucked up to see them like trying to sue a small, tiny little indie developer company like that that made a game called Monster. Like yeah, that's that, that's fucking ridiculous, bro. Honestly, I remember what the game was called. Oh, it's called um Dark Deception, Shepson, Mar Monsters or Mortals. Really, really stupid, man. And then the last little bit of news. I know this happened like three years ago almost, but it sucks. Another actor, even. I'm not sure if he was with or against the stuff. Like, with the whole clan of scan there, but got the convicts, aka Dash 119. I don't even know if you're even allowed to still say that or not, or you get your channel destroyed. Uh, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger saying, um, screw your freedoms, which is pretty wild. Um, I'm not sure he was with the mask and with the you know what, which I, I'm. Pretty sure I probably still can't say on YouTube with the jabs and um, getting that sort of medication that'll either end up taking your life faster or it'll just put some more genetic EXP shit in you, which who knows, like turning you into a fucking animal or zombie in the future, God forbid. Or with the Cinco Hey shit, I don't know. Or with nanobots or nanobots and hydrogels, if you take that little poke, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, let's get into this. Jungle Izamo! Boycotting Mario Bros. saying they messed up with the inclusion. This comes from Matt Regali or Regali from uh, Outkick. I never read for these dudes before. Maybe I did. I don't know. Anyways, without further ado, yeah, let's jump into this thing. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. Here it is. So it says, No one has bigger Africa SJW shit, aka social justice. I don't know. Maybe in the 40s, 50s, that was probably the actual better thing or 60s. But anyone once on the 80s, 90s came around, that really wasn't a need for that anymore, especially when. I start starting hearing that shit when I was like in my mid late twenties, like twenty five, twenty six, when the whole GamerGate shit, when the new Sarcasium started happening and all that. That's when I first heard about it. But, anyways, let's truly get it started again. I mean, getting mad at other people, going to parts of him instead than himself, John Guizamo, the actor who acted, acts if he would be snagging a ticket to catch the recently released animated film, Super Mario Bros. movie. It was a fair question, seeing as Louis. John Luigi's Luigi means I say Luigi Zamo played Luigi in 1993 Super Mario Bros. A piece of box office poison that some people claim to enjoy because they saw it because they were children. Luigi Zamo said that he wasn't going to see it this week after TMZ asked John Luigi Zamo if he had soft in his position. He has said he's still mad about perceived the lack of inclusion. Says quote, "No, I ain't gonna be watching it." <laughs> I don't really do impression that well, so I'm just going to speak in a regular voice. It could have included a Latin character, Lu Luizamo told TMZ. Like, I was I was groundbreaking, and they stopped the groundbreaking. They messed up the inclusion, and they disincluded it. Just cast some Latin folks. We're 20% of the population, the largest POCs, which not really POC, granny, yes. I do have dark brown skin, so yeah, I might be a person of color, but... I don't identify with any of that fucking political bullshit. It's stupid. Now let's move on. Um, da da da. Largest people of color group, and we are underrepresented. Well, nowadays, we really shouldn't be underrepresented. We got other big time people besides. I think when I was a '90s kid, it was like, I guess Jennifer Lopez, Shakira. Like as far as music goes, that one, Shakira, Ricky Martin, Ricky Iglesias. I guess Gloria Stefan. I don't know. And in the mid late 2000s, when I was in my teen years, I remember other fools like, I guess, um, Daddy Yankee and Pitbull and fucking, um, trying to think of other was a Spanish Latino rapper. Oh, even in, like Chicano rapper dudes from the West Coast. Like, I used to listen to a shitload. That's in my junior senior high school, which was, um, I remember it was Lil Rob, and Mr. Criminal, Lee Hanks, like, Lil Cuetas, Capone, like, a bunch of dudes like that. I used to love listening to, like, a motherfucker. And it was fun, too. Cause I was a lot. I feel like I was more later. Granted, I wasn't born and raised in the West Coast in Cali, but I could feel their struggles and pains of going through life. You know, like I couldn't relate to them 100 million percent because I wasn't in a gang and I didn't like blast people's heads right off. Which, that would have happened. I'd be in prison right now. I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So to a certain extent, I can relate to their lifestyle. To a certain extent. Uh, anyways, continue forward. So it says, so a movie about plumber smashes. Their heads against bricks in hopes to find coins, mushroom people, and a green dinosaur that eats things and craps eggs needs to mirror diversity into the real world. Do they really? I'm not sure. I mean, if it's not holding a mirror to society, I, I'm not sure what is. 
This isn't the first time that Luigi Zamo has gotten angry about casting, interestingly enough. His ire always seems to materialize. Seem to materialize with the role he could have played. Last year, the actor was mad that James Franco was cast to play a Cuban dictator, Fidel Castro, instead of a Latino actor, you know, like him. He certainly could have played the role, never mind that Castro was Cuban and Luigi Zambo was Colombia. I thought it was Colombia and Puerto Rican, and then it was just pure Colombia, but whatever. It says, um, remember that the rule about how characters should be played by actors with congruency backgrounds completely flies to the fact that what acting even is in the first place. But one progressive, like John Luizamo, can't stop yelling about, yep, yeah, that one doesn't apply to him. That's what he's saying. That's not what I'm saying, but let's continue on. Luizamo seems to be mad that he was passed over. This time around, the time that comes off, especially that he wasn't asked to reprise his role, the studio behind the movie Illumination Universal Pictures went with this always his sunny Philadelphia actor Charlie Day. Why? Because... Day stocks is higher for these days. That's because how it works. The reason that Chris Pratt is doing the voice of Mario instead of the guy who hasn't voiced him for decades is, you know, Charles Mansonet, Google. I know some people, they still want to do Charles Mansonet to play Mario. I would have been cool with that. That would have been awesome. But, hey, they got Chris Pratt. He was, like, the most relevant dude in Hollywood, especially when he did, like, the freaking Jurassic World movies and then him as Star-Lord for freaking Avengers. And then again, I guess, for another sh movie, I know he did with that chick that played um, Cadmus Everything for Hunger Games, um, Jennifer Lawrence, Passers. Passengers, that was a really, really decent good movie. And he did the Lego movie, like, he voice acted twice already as this dude named Spencer, I think his name was, or Emmett's, I don't know. And so, I don't know, since he had a lot more, you know, notoriety and I guess a lot more fame celebrity compared to, like, I don't know, Charles Manson, and that's probably what I went with Chris Pratt. Anyways. There's no denying that Louis Zamo had a great career. He voiced the sloth in uh, 30 of those Ice Age movies. Oh, yeah, he did. I forgot he did do that. But these days, not too many blustering studios. Executive says, get me John Louis Zamo into the phone through teeth clenching and smoldering cigars. Yeah, he's on the Daily Show for the week. He hosted Daily Show for the week. I didn't know that. Yeah, his institution, he was a part of a M Words row of work hackers. Has been included, like the likes of Al Frank, Franken, Leslie Jones, Chelsea Handler, Sarah Silverman, Dale Hughley. Great company was all of Hollywood busy. I don't know if there's any more. If there is, oh, no, that's it. Meanwhile, Illumination Studios and Universal could say that, quote, That's fine, because we never wanted you in it from the jump. Glad we're here on the same page. See, so, yeah, overall thoughts, and opinions, like I said before, I'll say it again. Like, as funny and Larry's to do this, like... I know the last movie I saw this dude in, like, was that movie in December that came out with him. He was, like, the bad guy in Violent Night. Like, man, he, he did really good as a villain. I've never seen him play the villain. I mean, besides, I guess, in that one movie that, like, what was it called? Nicolas Cage was in? In the Kick-Ass 2 movie? When he was, like, the assistant for the other dude that ended up being super bad back in the one that played McLovin. I think his name was something Mint. Christopher Mintz. Yeah, that's what it was. And I know he was kind of sort of the bad guy in there. I mean, he's only had, like, a slew of a few. I think the first time I think I ever saw John Luzamo in a movie was in, it was called Home for the Holidays or nothing like the holidays. He played, like, this Puerto Rican dude that was, like, a Wall Street Journal businessman, and he married, like, a, like a, as I say, Middle Eastern lady, or it is what it is on that. I don't care if they are that or not. But I will say this. I, he's had a few movies that were really, really freaking good. It was awesome, you know? Some of his comedy was real good. I kind of see in the... To a little bit where he's coming, 80s and 90s, maybe I would have seen him a lot better. Maybe when I was a 90s kid, I could have seen him a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, he came from a different time, bro. It is what it is on that. And, like, it's sad to see him, like, bullshit and complaining. There's actually two Hispanic Latino voice actors that were in there, which, they're live action actors, too, which, I didn't know she was a Hispanic Latino chick until, like, three years ago, which was Anya Taylor-Joyce, which, I thought she was just a regular white European chick, but she was, I think she was, like, Cuban or um, Argentina. Or Spaniard. And I know it was another Spanish Latino actor. I don't know who they were, but they were really, really good at the stuff that they do, whoever it was. That's all guys here for now. Um, this dude, I don't know what it is. Just, he needs to get his heads out of his fucking ass, bro. Seriously. There's a one Spanish Latino dude from another. Like, bro, we already have enough representation as it is. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm out of here. And that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Family, Spanish, talking movies. 
So you'll see a good day, a good night, whatever you wish. Stay tuned more for you can share with you. You know, must be interactive with us. Peace.